Yeah, welcome back to some more Life is Strange. Yeah, episode five. Let's go. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So the little brother got so angry, he killed her. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Everything to the story based game that highlights player choice reaction decision for cards with on Yep, yep. Arizona, seven weeks after in Arizona. The Grand Canyon. Or hair back. Danielle is back. Hey, wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Easy. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. 
It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Wolves come out of nowhere. The coyote. Diaz brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know. About Lisbeth? No. I guess... I don't feel that bad about what I did. Yeah. Maybe... <clears throat> that's bad. Not in this case. It was her or us. You yeah, did what yeah. you have to do, and I know. I know. Yeah. She was so nice at first. I can't believe she turned me against you. I'm sorry, Sean. <laughs> no way. We're the wolf bros. Nobody can tear us apart. Nobody. Right? Sean. Are we criminals now? Uh, sort of. Sort of. We did a lot of... Illegal shit. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean... I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mom wolf, the wolf brothers, barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied the evil Chupacabra, and they would have to fight it. Together. Uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay then. So what happens next? Uh, okay. So the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. He's very dangerous. But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. They arrive in the magic land as heroes. Because they have defeated the beast. Okay, Stephen King Jr. You win. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. Pack it, pack it, pack this it. place is too pretty. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right.
Activate flashlight. On the way. Pack everything up, pack everything up. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. And then get these. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Dude. We don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. Scorpio, scorpion. I wish we saw more falling stars, or any. <laughs> Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah, these guys are real cool. Back, welcome back to town. Think Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. <sighs> it's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. <sighs> you know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be- Oh, look, look. Looks like a job for our local Man, super- I just saw a psychic cool baby boy. lizard. Yeah. And you So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> Boom. Easy peasy. <laughs> nice, man. Oh, change two episode five wolves. Are done. the telescope to Stanley and Arthur.
Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> Back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year, this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So... Don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in a desert. I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert brew. Desert brew, 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 These two remind me of Claire and Steven. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um... What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it! That child is... something special. Yeah. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> But you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <sighs> I don't know. It's just... doodles and shit. No big yeah. deal. I thought my sculptures were shit, too. Compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. Did you always want to be an artist? 
<laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay, sure, <laughs> why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. You should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Now, let's throw on that spider. Watch this. Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. See, Sean. Yo, can you turn that, that, um, uh, spider thingy around? Totally! <laughs> hey, can you... Turn that earth ball around a little bit. There he goes. <laughs> hmm. Maybe give that spider another twist? Check it out. <laughs> okay. How about turning that pancake head? You got it. Turn the spider, please. Sweet. There. I feel like we're almost done. <laughs> well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. Oh, shit. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. Dude, 
Remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You miss Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, gross. She changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. Brody's so good at describing painful situations and seeing the good into it. Yeah, I ghosted her, but so glad to see Lila's back. Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. USB key. Whoa. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. <laughs> Super Wolf to LDS Glow Loco. Copy. I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? 10 4. Okay. You're on it, Nano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. Like and don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The item is under the building that will blow you down. They'll blow you down, right? Not too far. Oh, Warm. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. Boom. Getting closer. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Getting closer. Warm. Water. Hey, they're leaving the hot zone. 
Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. Nope, as cold as ever. If you go too far, you lose your walkie-talkie signal. Oh man, you're right there! Just look around! Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. You're warm! It's close, Sean. Dude, you're on fire! Shot. Just grab it. You're here. And I know what was that last clue? Dude, this is not that hard. The second item is where the sun meets the earth. You're warm! Oh man! You're right there! Just look around! Dude, you're a snowman! What the heck? Daniel? Copy? Give me a clue! Come on! This is so easy! I've hidden the item in a place that loves the sun! Just grab it! You're In a here. place that loves us. Pretty smart. Never gonna run out of sun in the desert. Ah, uh, it burns! You're warm! Right, it's it. close, Sean. Oh, we're done. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Ahoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Uh... This is right. Okay, it's fun. Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. Yes! I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah! I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! What? <laughs> Look at him. Come on! Dance! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you asked for it. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Up 
the back. Watch out! <laughs> what the? I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. Hey! <laughs> Looking right, at so this place. The the hey, I see that Karen really morning. <laughs> wanted to get away from it. Howdy, Sean. Hey, what's <laughs> up? Literally. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hide rating. Oh, right. You can't forget your goodies. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. <laughs> hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. <laughs> yep, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah, been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right, and he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's <sighs> skills. <sighs> Me neither, but I never figured Me it out, so neither. I don't try anymore. That kind of power is dangerous, Sean. He's a walking weapon. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. Maybe I even fucked him up more. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Yeah. Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> I'm divorced now. But I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter before she died. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, we can't go back. <sighs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my God. I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a 
rest stop. I know. do miss that Pacific Northwest weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <laughs> Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not gonna get in your space. They have their own past, too. That's why people come here, from all over the country, for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is... Everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> Compadre, how about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Okay guys, I'm ending here for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.